<laughs> oh my gosh. You can't turn your phone off recording. <laughs> Hey guys, it's a great day for a great day. So I just got a notification that Facebook wants me to turn sideways. Sorry, uh, we're not going to be doing that. So you're going to have to turn your phone later. Okay? <laughs> and this is Instagram. So this is the first time I've ever done a simultaneous broadcast with Instagram and Facebook. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Ruth. I am a health coach. I train women online and I train women in person. And um, my whole purpose is to help women take imperfect action so they can create a body that and life that they love. And this month, my theme and emphasis with my community is all about aging and how we can take positive steps today that are going to give us a more fruitful life in years to come. So today is my first interview with um, one of my clients. This is Kelly McDaniel. Hi. And Kelly, how old are you? I am 50. Okay. So Kelly is 50. And let's get a little bit of a, a backstory. Um, first of all, we're going to be talking about what you should be doing throughout different decades so that you are taking positive steps so that you can enjoy your life in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, okay? So we're both in our 50s. I wanted to interview someone in their 50s so we can talk about what your actions were like in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, and if they served you. And then she's going to share how she's kind of gotten woke uh -huh. and, and um, what she's doing differently today. So first of all, your name is Kelly McDaniel, Kelly McDaniel, mm -hmm. and she's 51. 50. Oh, 50. I'll be 50. 51 in November. Okay. 50, mm -hmm. 50. And Kelly, tell us a little bit about what your life was like in your twenties and thirties. What kinds of, um, what was your daily routine like? Um, I worked a lot. Okay. Um, I worked in the legal field for um, 30 years. I was, um, I started at 17 in a law firm and stayed with the same attorney actually um, all the way until I was 48 and um, developed some health problems. Um, big time stress eater, that was me. Um, very poor choices in my 20s and 30s. Um, you and I have had some conversations about that before. Um, did not make good choices as far as my eating habits. Um, very little to no exercise. Um, that little to no exercise. Around, not good. Um, and your poor eating habits mm -hmm. in your 20s and 30s mm -hmm. caused you to start gaining weight. Yes. Okay. Yes. So... First of all, to all the 20 and 30 year olds yes. out there, mm -hmm. start now mm -hmm. with those healthy choices because if you don't and you start to stress eat, you start to become more sedentary, Yes, you start to drink more and party, those activities, those choices are going to hurt you in yep. your 30s, 40s, and 50s. And taking it from someone who wishes yes. she would have made healthier choices when she was younger. Yep. Um, so you were a stress eater. Yes. And the stress eating wasn't healthy eating. You ate things like? Um, a lot of sweet, snacky snacky foods like processed. a lot of processed nasty her very favorite, bad her favorite friend was little debbie little debbie was my <laughs> best friend <laughs> she loved liked little, little debbie. debbie yes okay mm -hmm. um yeah it's and just such garbage oh i'm so embarrassed to what, say what did that do last year at this time you made a decision so yes. she had gained weight and you were at what weight last year last year at this time um i was at 318 pounds okay mm -hmm. she had been accruing these bad habits mm -hmm. of stress eating, not being active, um, drinking a lot of J just junk in general, junk in general, yeah. not so much alcohol, but you were no, drinking and, and like not really sweet tea, a lot of sweet, tea, a lot of sweet tea, a lot of sweet tea. I wasn't ever really a big soda drinker. Um, not that I didn't ever drink it, but not a lot. I was a lot of sweet tea, um, things like that. And of course with eating a lot of little Debbie's, a lot of milk. Okay. With the little Debbies, you know okay. how that milk goes. Milk and little Debbies. Yeah, milk and little Debbies. They're my friends. Um, 
you know, and so it was just really just garbage. It's just garbage. I was just putting garbage into my body. Okay. So a year ago, she yep. made a decision. She's mm -hmm. like, you know what? I don't feel good. Nope. All this, all this eating, all this inactivity has made me the heaviest I've ever been. And you made a decision to do what? Well, I, I'm, it was the heaviest I'd ever been. And I had developed, um, some very, very bad um, health issues. I developed fibromyalgia, arthritis, psoriatic arthritis. Um, it was just not a good time at all. And so I went to my doctor and talked to my doctor about it and um, decided to have weight loss surgery. So I had sleeve gastrectomy surgery um, on May 26th of 2020. Um, and uh, now, I always say this, next to Mary and my husband, it was the best decision I ever made, without question. Um, it has absolutely 100% changed my life. It is a tool that if used properly, which I have done so this past year, um, will give you just, a, it's given me a new lease on life. And of course, after um, losing approximately 60 65 pounds that's when i found ruth and started working out with ruth and that's just that's just been the icing so on top you at that point felt like you had lost and lost enough weight where mm -hmm. you were able to start moving your body it right. wasn't laborious to right. be able to to move your body so right. um we started training together and you started um becoming more and more active. So that yes. was one of the pieces that was missing for you. Yes. You can't, because of your sleeve, mm -hmm. eat a lot. So portions right. are automatically going to be smaller, but you also ditched the little Debbies. Yes. Okay, so yes. she's no longer, even though she's eating less, she's no longer reaching for the unhealthy food right. because that doesn't serve her well. It's not giving her nutrients. Mm -hmm. She's not gonna be energized. So she has learned, she made the decision. She's like, okay, I'm 50, I am ready to, well, she was 49, but right. I'm ready to start making healthy choices. She made the decision to get the lap, um, sleeve, the gastric sleeve, sleeve. the uh -huh. gastric sleeve, mm -hmm. and then started training. So your lifestyle has changed quite a bit. Now, yes. when it comes to um, aging gracefully, mm -hmm. um, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Knowing where you are now and the habits that you developed, when you were younger, what would you say to the 20 year old you? What kind of advice would you give her? I, I would say to my 20 year old self, you are so, you are so, you are worth so much more than this. Take care of yourself now. Do what you need to do to make sure that you are healthy in your 40s leading into 50 because it is so much harder as we age mm -hmm. to lose weight and to make those choices that you have to make to have better health. And if you start young, I just, if that is, I, I would definitely love to be able to go back 30 years and say to my 20 year old self, don't eat the fast food. Don't go to McDonald's. Don't go to Wendy's. Don't eat the Little Debbie's. Don't, you know, put all that junk down. Find a way to deal with the stress. Find a way to make this work and move your body so that in 30 years, your life, you don't have to go through all this to get to where I'm at right now. Okay, so For she's sure. saying you are worth it. Yes. And we're also saying that while it's harder in your 50s, it's never too late. Right. So it's never too late to get started on your wellness journey, your fitness journey. Just make the decision to start, okay? If you are um, in your 50s and you haven't gotten really started with your wellness journey yet, give us a comment below. We wanna know, and because we wanna give you an encouragement to say, you know what? I, it is not too late. I am going to get started. So how much weight have you lost so far? 105 pounds. 105 pounds. That is, that's like, um, I think a bag of dog food is like 30-ish yes. pounds. That's like three heavy bags of dog food, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're noticing a difference in your joints. Oh, yes. Your sleep. Oh, yes. Your energy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's uh -huh. super exciting. Yeah. Okay, we talked about how 
Um, stress is a major cause of advanced aging. Mm -hmm. You didn't have healthy coping mechanisms to deal with stress in your 20s and 30s. Right. How are you ch changing how you deal with stress now in your 50s? A couple ways. Um, I found you. Okay. That was one way. <laughs> Um, it really is true what they say that exercise is a cure-all, uh, honestly. Um, I have found that the more that I exercise and uh, being around Ruth and learning from Ruth um, has given me the tools, just another tool in my arsenal, um, if you will, to combat all these things in daily life that happens to us. You know, stress cannot there's no way to avoid stress. That's one thing I've learned. Um, but to be able to kind of step away from it and say, is this really worth getting upset about? Is this really something? And then having a plan. Right. And having a plan of action mm -hmm. and saying, I'm not going to eat my feelings. I'm not going to eat, you know, and it's like I told you before, when we did the workout video, I have, I must tell myself when I'm feeling stressed or upset about something, I am more important than food. I have to be more important than food ever was. And once I realize that and come to terms with that, then making those choices, those good choices is a whole lot easier. I agree. Yeah. And just an added b benefit. Anytime I'm with Kelly, we laugh a lot. Yes. Laughter is also a great right. way yes. to de-stress. Mm -hmm. um, we both love the 80s. We both love to mm -hmm. dance. We mm -hmm. both love like disco and yes. all that, you know, so <laughs> we laugh a lot and like get around people that make you laugh. Get Absolutely. around people that will support you and encourage you on your on your journey yes um okay so another way that we can minimize stress is by being organized and optimizing mm -hmm. your time mm -hmm. um i would say in your 20s and 30s you might be not really concerned about that but as we get older and we have more responsibilities juggling family schedules kids schedules work our own self-care and all that mm -hmm. Um, how do you work on staying organized and balancing all the things so that you stay de-stressed? Honestly, I actually think that working for attorneys helped me with that. Um, when you work for lawyers, you have to kind of be an attention to detail and detail-oriented person anyway and kind of have to be an organized sort almost like a type A personality mm -hmm. anyway. And so in that respect, I think that has helped me. I've always kind of been able to kind of organize my time and been a good management manager of my time. Mm -hmm. And so, um, That's great. yeah, that, that helps a lot. Um, I don't always, um, I, you know, I'm not perfect. By no one's perfect. Or, you know, we but, don't want you to be perfect. No, I'm not perfect. That's but, normal. Right. But I do feel like that for the most part, I am. Um, sorry. Stay in the screen keep, for Instagram. I keep wanting to go yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah, come over here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, uh, for the most part, I feel like I, I, I am able to manage my time pretty well. And in my calendar, I could not live without my calendar. My calendar is my lifesaver. I would say, too. I yeah. think that's a huge really good habit to get into mm -hmm. if you're not already doing it get a planner yes I like to write my stuff if it's mm -hmm. better for you digitally that's fine but write down what you need to do uh, for us for our my clients I want them to have a good road map at the beginning of the week yeah that keeps them organized so that they show up for themselves so they do three things they print off an, a meal and activity mm -hmm. chart which enables them to write in what they're eating. I give them their meal plan so they know what they're eating. It, it helps them plan if they're going out with friends. It helps them plan if they're having leftovers so that they're never like, eh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then they schedule in their workouts. Mm -hmm. Scheduling in their workouts is really important because you're realizing, oh, yeah, I'm treating myself like I would go meet with a friend, right? right. Um, you sign up for classes. Yep. It makes you accountable to yourself mm -hmm. and to me. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm expecting you. If she doesn't show up, I give her heck. Yeah, she does. <laughs> where are you She's at? Like, where are you? <laughs> where are you at? Yep. So it does help, you know, whether you are um, needing to write things down or put it in your phone. That's really great. Um, and then also writing your goals because mm -hmm. you want to know, like, 
am I just happy with status quo or am I going to keep reaching higher? You know, our goals are always changing always always changing based on our growth right so as we get stronger your fitness goals change as you get better with um being more consistent you might expect more from yourself as to how many times you're working out right yes um so that's always good too is right making sure you're you're writing your goals all right so when you were uh, let's go to another topic yeah when you were younger mm -hmm. um did you do much self-care no no, 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 very little, very little. Okay. And yeah. are you doing anything now? Um, <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. She's working out. Yes, um, okay. I work out with you um, in the class. I work out yes. with the group three times a week now, which I love. Um, I love to walk. Um, my son and I will go on a couple of walks a week. We like that. That's our kind of our little bonding time together. Um, I love to get massages. I, I love massages. I love to have a good massage. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm getting one this afternoon. Oh, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so, yes, I, I realized that once I turned 50 um, that, you know, I think that's a big thing with women, too. I think we, as we're raising our children, especially when we're younger, um, we kind of it's just naturally naturally occurs we tend to put ourselves on the back burner and um i don't do that anymore i have put myself i have said this is the time for me to get my life in order my health in order myself in order because i want to be around for a long time and i want to be here for my husband for my son for my friends my my family the people that I love and care about and the people that I enjoy being with. And in order to do that, I knew that I had to do something. And so all that to say that in order for that to happen, I have to take care of myself first. If I don't take care of myself, I'm no good to anybody anyway. That would be true. Yeah. Um, so move your body, mm -hmm. big, big way to take care of your body. And then I did a video earlier this week, just talking about getting out in nature. If yes. you can get out in nature and walk, take in some vitamin D and allow your senses to really take in the experience. Like we hear birds, we hear yes. construction going on. We feel the cool air. It just enhances everything. And that's a great way to de-stress. Yes. Going for massages, facials, yes. getting your hair done, your nails. Um, all of that is a great way to take, your, take care of yourself. And we know that de-stressing is one of the best things that you can do in the form of self-care because it's going to help you age gracefully. Yep. Okay. Um, let's look into the future. Okay. Okay. So what does 70 year old Kelly look like? She looks great. She looks, no, no, no. She looks rocking. She looks rocking. <laughs> she got it all going on. Okay. <laughs> I on it. No, in all seriousness. Um, what did, size are you? I am. My goal is to be um, the size that I was when I met my husband. I think I told you uh -huh. that before. I was a size 10. Okay. Um, which for me is, is thin. Okay. For my build so and my body. she's going to keep on losing weight, mm -hmm. and then she's going to maintain her mm -hmm. goal weight. Right. Um, goal size. I, yes. I like size because yes. um, weight doesn't reflect the muscle right. that, you're, that you're getting. Right. Um, and how active, like, what do you do for fun in your 70s? I just, I want to do everything I can. I want to <laughs> move, like, seriously, I do. I'm, I'm not joking when I say that. I want to just experience life to the fullest and whatever yes more often. yeah whatever that means that's what i want to do i want to go and do and just have fun and enjoy life and bring joy uh, that to me is so important and you know if that just means going out dancing with my girlfriends then that's what i want to do because i feel like i am a firm believer that whatever you put out into the world is what you're going to get back and that's what I want. And when I'm 70, I still want to be sitting here with you, coming to you, <laughs> working out with you, um, all those things. I want to, I want to do it all. I, I just want to do everything that I can. I love that. Yeah. So um, another really great thing that will help you stay younger, longer is staying connected and mm -hmm. staying 
Um, very social. Kelly is a very social person. She is super fun. Um, what kinds of groups do you do and, and how important is our tribe in helping you stay motivated and stay on track? Oh, this, you're going to get me teary now talking okay. about these amazing women that I have met because of you. They, the very first, I was so nervous to come to that first group class because I thought I won't be able to keep up. They're going to think I'm, you know, such a loser. They were the most amazing group of women and they still are. Um, so supportive. They instantly, the, you're instantly a friend. You're instantly part of this amazing group that Ruth has put together. Nobody is a stranger. I love that. Um, it's just so wonderful to be with women who want to see you succeed. Absolutely. And want you to be your absolute very best that you can be. And whatever that is, I, I mean, believe me, I'm just getting started with this group thing and I have, I struggle to keep up. Some of these women have been with Ruth for, you know, multiple years. Mm -hmm. Some of them four or five years, uh, I yeah. think. Yeah. And I struggle to keep up, but they are always encouraging, always supportive. They're amazing. They are amazing. And it just, it's, it's great because being social, whether mm -hmm. you're talking to people online, getting to know a friend in our group, or talking to people, giving them high fives as you're training next to them in boot camp and yeah. encouraging them on. You see people that might be a same same size to you or a same, similar ability rocking it out. And you're like, okay, I can do this. Yes. So it really does inspire you to keep pushing yourself. Um, I know you probably would give a big shout out to Barb. Yes, Barb. <laughs> Love me some Barb. To Barb, um, <laughs> who is a lot like Kelly. They're super fun, super expressive, and always happy. Um, but it definitely does help to surround yourself with people that just are supportive mm -hmm. and are right next to you, helping you, um, encourage you to reach your goals. So that's very exciting. Yes. All right. So we have, I have put together a great guide for you and that guide is going to give you the, the steps that you can take through each decade, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, that are gonna give you a better quality of life later. So our whole thing is we want to show up every day living our best life. And if you show up today making healthy choices, that's gonna make sure that you have a healthy, less pain-free mm -hmm. life in your 70s and 80s and a more fruitful life and a life where you feel like you have a purpose. So I will post that link um, on Facebook. I will post it below. On Instagram, it's in my um, bio. Just click on Healthy Through the Ages. It's our free guide. It's my gift to you because I love that you follow along. And if you need um, a tribe, whether you are wanting to work out virtually, if you want to work out on your own time or work out in person like Kelly, um, join my membership group. That link is also in my bio on Instagram and also post that link here. And in that group, you're going to get tons of encouragement and support. You're going to get great workouts, an amazing meal plan that you'll be able to incorporate that's going to help you Live pain-free because it's anti-inflammatory foods. Get rid of the bloat. Help you have tons of energy. And with this month, our theme is aging gracefully. Yes. And the steps that we can take. I love to do a theme that's relevant for our age. Um, sometimes it's style. Sometimes it's um, about boosting your metabolism or breaking a plateau or healthy skin. We just finished that. But check out those links. We're here for you. And if you have any questions about aging gracefully or tips that you use to age gracefully, I'd love to hear them. Until next time, here's to helping you love the body you live in. Say goodbye to Kelly. Bye. And Kelly, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. Bye. See ya.